Hello and welcome as we continue our journey into Python. Today we're going to talk about data types. Uh, again, uh, we're dealing with a lot of variables, like a lot of calculations, a lot of manipulation of whatever's coming in, whether it's a strong or a numeric or uh, the different data types that exist within our program. So it's very important to know what our different data types are. That's why in Python we have a variety, like a lot of other programming languages, we have a variety of data types. Uh, the more you know the data types and difference between them, the more you're going to succeed in uh, in controlling your program and the manipulation that happens to the data to the best ability that you have. So now let's examine some of those data types together. Enjoy the trip. So on a higher level, there's a variety of data types. Uh, most commonly used are going to be the numeric which hold numeric values. So things such as integers, which are complete numbers, uh, float that allow for decimals, and complexes we're going to see where you have uh, a number with a, with, with an alphanumeric character next to it, for instance. Uh, a string, which holds a sequence of characters. So A, B, C, or X, Y, Z, 1, 2, 3 would be considered a string. Sequences, and there's a variety of kind of sequences, such as list, tuples, and ranges, which hold collection of items. Uh, mapping which holds data in key value pair form. Uh, Boolean, which in some cases you're looking for a true false value, then a Boolean is what's gonna be fit for that. Or a set, which allows you to have a collection of unique items. So let's look at some of those examples to, to oversimplify that as well. In our first example, we're looking at three values, numeric values. Here's a five, here's a 2.0 for num number two, and then number three is one plus two J. So let's see what the three different types are going to translate into, or data types. I'm going to run it. So five is an integer, no decimal points, integer. Two has that decimal in there, so it takes it as a float. And then this has a mix, so it takes it in as a complex. Now let's look at what's called a list and how we can access the list. So we have a list of languages. And the first one is Swift, second one is Java, third one is Python. An index usually starts with zero. So the first value is going to be zero, one, two. So if we say print language, so with languages from that list, we're going to number zero. It should bring Swift. And then if we put two, it's going to zero, one, two. So it should be Python. Let's go ahead and run it and see what we get for our output. Sure enough, we got a Swift and Python because we chose, we chose this number and that number from our list. And now for a uh, dictionary, for example, Python dictionary data type, let's look at US cities. So we created a US city dictionary, Chicago, Illinois, comma, Omaha, Nebraska, comma, Iowa City, Iowa. Let's print it out and see what our output looks like. Sure enough, it does miss spill those values out there. So hopefully this gives us a good idea of the different data types that are out there. And in the future, we're going to see how we can use each data type, the different functions and calculations and, uh, and, and, and the power of Python so that we could make sure to use the right data type and all the different functions that goes along with each one. All right. Thank you for your time.